Okay, welcome to part two of the material tutorial. We're going to be starting today with the robot number two. Details about how to find that robot are on one of the previous tutorials. So I'm assuming you found it. And here we go, robot number two. The aim of this tutorial is to go through and to make sure that we color this robot in with different materials. Right. To do that, we will need three different materials on this robot. This is basically um, a modified version of material tutorial number one. So the materials button is right over here. Click on that. Remember sometimes there could be absolutely no materials here. So we click new and it goes to brand new material. We um, pick one of those materials and we're going to be calling this one here gray body because that's basically the name of the body material we're going to be coloring this robot in. So here we go, grey um, body, and there we go. Now, um, because I want to just change this slightly, I'm going to actually change the grey body to a lighter colour. So I click on the colour button right there, drag it on up to a lighter colour, and I can make it a slightly um, greeny sort of colour, just cause. Okay, and. The specular, that's the shininess of the object. I'm going to be changing that, not the color, sorry. The intensity to make it real shiny. So the intensity of that shine is pretty high. And I'm going to also make the shine quite compact. So I'm increasing the hardness of that shine. Done. Ooh, before I do anything else, I'm going to also make it smooth. See the button over here? Smooth. Change all those chunky little lines into nice smooth lines. Good stuff. Right, then I'm going to be going through and making a brand new material. See the little plus button there? Now whenever I make a brand new material, it always copies the one that I had selected before. We're going to call it black plastic, because part of my robot is going to be black, and a sort of plasticky um, colour. Enter, and that gives me a black plastic thing. I'm going to change the colour here to that bar at the side, we're going to drag it on down, and I'm going to make it a slightly blue color. Um, and because it's plastic, I'm not going to like a shiny plastic, I'd like either a muted plastic. So I'm going to drag the intensity of the specular down, and I'm going to decrease the hardness so it's a fuzzy look to it. Now, I'm now going to go through and create my last material. Um, now what you can do, like I've got a, a material down here already, material number one, um, that I was using before. I'm not going to use that one. You can use any material you want. I could press the plus button to make a brand new one. But I'm making this one here a metal. Now, what colour metal do I want? Hmm. Um, colour? I might sort of make it like a slight um, goldy, bronzy colour. Okay, so we can drag it around until we get the, the colour that we like. Now, that's not very metal looking. What metal I think needs, and I'm going to shrink those, um, the hardness, I'm going to keep all the, the shine there the same as it is right now, and I'm going to shrink all these down, and I'm going down here where it says mirror, click the mirror box, click the little arrow beside it, it brings down the reflectivity thing, and I'm making about 50% reflective. I don't really like the look of that. I think that the, the colour probably needs um, to be a little bit darker. Right. Oh, stop that. Stick the paint. And I'm going to drag it on down. And does that look better? A little bit better. I'll keep it at that. Now, so, as you can see, as I went through and created each material, the entire robot has been cut of that entire thing. There's a couple of reasons for that. See the box at the top? This box here shows all the materials that I can use to coat my model in. At the moment, I've just got metal here. But I'm going to go through and I'm going to add click and click two more materials for my robot. Okay, so that's that little click button right there. Add new material slot or duplicate the selected one, blah blah blah. And I'm going to click on here. I'm going to click on the button here that gives me all my list of materials and I'm going to go on black plastic. Note now, I don't have metal all the way down, I've now got two different materials there. And I'm going to go through and add, oops, not metal, 
uh, the gray body yes so now I have my three different materials in this box up here right well I should say how are we going to go through and actually add the materials to different parts of this body well to do that we need to be in the object sorry the edit mode so click on object mode go to edit mode and now we can see the faces these are the faces the pieces that have made up our model okay see an earlier tutorial for how to select those guys the key thing we're going to be doing today is we're going to be pressing the A button off and on okay remember when we press the A button it goes into select or deselect all very useful because what I can do if I've got all of them selected and I don't want all of them I can press it again and it removes them now I'm selecting all for now I press the A button down they're all selected and I want my entire robot covered with a grey body so I've got it selected in here see how it's all blue then I click the assign button and all of that I've assigned grey body material to my entire robot now I've got to pick up the pace here slightly so watch closely view front I want a front view for my model notice I could have gone through and clicked on the number one on my number pad which is the pad on the right hand side of your keyboard I also want to go and look at it straight on that's that number five on the keypad so I'm going there and voila I'm pressing the A key in order to select or in this case here deselect all and then I'm pressing the B key now remember B key is the border key or the border select key and I click and drag down over the things I want to select B click drag I'm doing exactly the same for the boots down the bottom B click drag and now I have the hands and the boots selected I then click on the metal because I want metal boots and claws and then go assign it's as simple as that okay now I'm clicking on the eyeball hey wait a minute something dodgy happened there when I select the eyeball it actually went right out the back you gotta watch out for this stuff like that sometimes what I can do to prevent that happening is over here um, beside the face select tool which we're on at the moment there's this thing here if I click on that it selects sorry, it limits the selection to the visible in other words it won't let you select things that are invisible to you ie at the back of the model now you'll see up here already I've actually gone and added this button here already but let's go through and find the select select more button by typing in select more then I find it and I add it as you can see I've already practiced a few times already and I've gone and added extra buttons out here what select more does is if I go through and um, look at my robots eyeball and hit the select more button it actually doesn't select just the inside it selects the next ring out select more again selects the next ring out from that and you can keep on going and going and going with that I'm going to be going through and changing that eyeball into black plastic ping and as you see now our faceplate has now been selected with that color you can go through and do whatever you want okay with whatever colors you want okay and go through and put whatever you want on there so anything and color it in okay just by hitting the colors and the assign buttons completely up to you about what you do with your colors right let's see how this looks I'm just going to drag this light bulb this way a little bit just because I want to see the light from the front I'm going to press the render render image button just to show what our robot now looks like in its current form excellent 